In this video, we're going to create a new bass sound in Serum for 2024. I hope you like the sound. Hopefully, it'll blow away all the Reese Bass uh, fans, and I hope you enjoy. In this future house bass, uh, I'm going to try to create this sound in Serum in about three minutes. It's very easy to do, but please do a preview first for a minute. Probably some drums and some other uh, vibes. First of all, we're going to do uh, the easy bit, which is to initialize and take it back to where it was uh, when it was installed. And then we're going to just go back to choose the right sort of wavetable. In this case, the wavetable I've chosen is uh, dist. Sounds nothing like the outcome, but I can assure you the outcome will be easy to do and curate. Uh, obviously, unison, create some unison. Key tune slightly as well. But then you bring it down a few octaves and you start to hear the sound. And then after that, you can go into uh, the default, you know, slow wave. Now start to create some nice growly future house bass. I think we'll hear more of this bass in 2024. Drop on the filter and you can take a lot of those highs away. Really pump the drive up. And then you can drop an LFO onto the cutoff. Just check to make sure it's not bi directional because that'll just drive you around the bend. And then drop it onto um, the wavetable position. And you can hear the proper grumbling uh, bass sound coming through. But I've just done that on the disc and not on the default wavetable. Adjust the uh, filter to taste as well. And then you're going to uh, put the bend effect on. Just give it a little bit of a change in sound. I don't even change the plus or minus on it as well. You can hear the sound there now pulsating through. Change that to an eighth. You can hear the sound now. I always go on the effects and change, go to the reverb and add the delay as well. I'm always being told not to do that, but I just think it sounds great. Well, hopefully, you'll enjoy the sound and please tweak and change uh, to get the effect you like. 